guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the DC TV shows. We got some news from all of the different shows, including Batwoman, Legends of Tomorrow, and we got some Supergirl stuff to talk about towards the end of the video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the new casting call for Batwoman. So... Basically, completely out of nowhere, the CW has put out a casting call for a new character, for a new actor to take over the role as Batwoman, but not to be Kate Kane, to be a different character. So this is completely new news to us because we thought they were just going to recast Ruby and, you know, have a new Kate Kane and people would sort of get used to it. Yeah, it would probably be a bit of trouble at the start of the season with the fans getting used to someone else playing Kate Kane. But no, they've opted for a different option, and I don't know how this is going to work, and it's very surprising to me, because Kate Kane is basically the centre of this show, obviously she is Batwoman, but like, all the characters around her are like her family, so it's like her dad, her sister, her basically everything, like, everyone in the show is somehow connected to her in one way or another, so how are you going to bring in a new character with all of these family members of Kate's and then say, oh, Kate's gone, or Kate's dead, maybe they kill off Kate, or they just make her leave, but it's just gonna be a bit strange, so are they gonna get rid of all the other cast members, or are they gonna incorporate this new character to Kate's family? It's an odd decision, and let's go over the casting call for it. So, they are seeking Ryan Wilder is the name as of right now, which is probably a fake name and they'll probably rename her something else when we get the actual casting of whoever is going to play the new Batwoman. So this is how it goes, female, mid-late 20s, any ethnicity, Ryan Wilder is about to become Batwoman. She's likeable, messy, a little goofy and untamed. She's also nothing like Kate Kane, the woman who wore the Batsuit before her. With no one in her life to keep her on track, Ryan spent years as a drug runner dodging the GCPD and masking her pain with bad habits. Today reformed and sober, Ryan lives in her van with her plant, a girl who would steal milk for an alley cat and could also kill you with her bare hands. Ryan is the most dangerous type of fighter, highly skilled and wildly undisciplined, an out lesbian, athletic, raw, passionate, fallible and very much so not your stereotypical all-American hero. This is going to be a series regular role. Performers who identify as LGBTQ are encouraged to submit. Okay, so this is the casting call. So, I mean, it says it's pretty much not like Kate Kane, but, you know, the way it says... I mean, it sounds kind of like Kate Kane in a weird way, you know. Undisciplined, ruthless, highly skilled. Sounds like Kate. But, yeah. Okay, so, so female, mid-late 20s, that was to be expected. Any ethnicity... This means, you know, it's not a recasting, it's basically like a reboot, so anyone can take the role, it's up for grabs. Which I think is good if they're casting this new character, see who wants to perform, see who wants to audition, and just pick the best one, doesn't matter about the ethnicity. Okay, so Ryan Wilder is about to become Batwoman, and this is the most interesting thing, because she's about to become Batwoman, so she's going to take over the mantle as Batwoman. And really, this isn't going to be like Batwoman Season 2, this is going to be like Batwoman Season 1 point, you know, 2 or something, or like Batwoman Season 1 and a half, because really, we just got her becoming Batwoman, we just got Kate becoming Batwoman in Season 1, and she fully becomes Batwoman, you know, in the first few episodes, and then she becomes, you know, even better and better and more skilled as the season goes on. And this is going to be the same thing happening with Ryan Wilder becoming Batwoman, because she's not Batwoman yet. So, let's move on. She's likeable, messy, a little goofy, and untamed. Again, kind of sounds a bit like Kate, but apparently she's nothing like Kate, according to this. The woman who wore the Batsuit before her, and with no one in her life to keep her on track, Ryan spent years as a drug runner, dodging the GCPD, and masking her pain with bad habits. Again... I know it's a bit different from Kate, but it doesn't seem all too far off. It seems like they're going with a similar formula, and I think it's just going to be like a reboot, to be honest. And yeah, they might keep some of the cast members. I would, you know, I would guess they're not going to fire all of them. But it seems like this story behind her is a bit kind of stereotypical with her being into drugs, dodging the police, 
and then you know masking her pain with bad habits she's definitely a drinker because it says she's now today reformed and sober so again a bit stereotypical I don't know how infused I am about this new character I think I would have preferred if they just recast Kate Kane because I think there's so many plot holes and so many issues with them bringing in a whole new character it's just gonna feel like season one all over again but for a new character who's taking over the role as Batwoman so I don't know it just doesn't sound right I think the right call should have been to just recast Kate Kane but I'm open and I'll watch the season so you know nothing wrong with it I'm sure it's gonna be great but as of right now it's a bit weird how they went along with this okay so Ryan lives in her van with her plant that's just like a, a weird thing I guess that is a bit similar to if you've seen the film Leon the professional kind of similar to that and so a girl who would steal milk for an alley cat and could also kill you with her bare hands Ryan is the most dangerous type of fighter highly skilled and wildly undisciplined I mean sounds pretty similar she's highly skilled wildly undisciplined she is very dangerous and she's an out lesbian same thing as Kate Kane so again kind of taking the same formula and also she's athletic raw passionate and fallible and very much so not your stereotypical all-american hero I mean it's not too far off of Kate so maybe this is gonna be an easing point for you know the fans because she's gonna be pretty similar even though apparently she's nothing like Kate Kane but according to the casting call from what I can interpret she's pretty similar and so who they're gonna cast I don't know as of right now but actors who identify as LGBTQ are encouraged and you can be any ethnicity but you have to be in about your mid to late 20s is what they've said so I think it's really good that they are kind of open to this and I think it's important that they are going with the LGBTQ casting because that's how they originally cast the show and I think it's great that they are continuing down this line and they're not differing you know their intent going into the show and its second season okay so let's move on to the next thing we're gonna talk about Legends of Tomorrow so they just did their season finale I haven't seen it yet maybe you guys have seen it apparently it was kind of fun I saw some clips I do want to watch it and basically after this they announced that a certain character is not going to be returning for season 6 of Legends of Tomorrow. This is Maisie Richardson Sellers who played Charlie in the recent seasons and played Amaya in the past. And so it was ultimately revealed that she would be leaving the show. And you remember she came in in season 2 as Amaya. She was really good. I'm not going to lie, I'm not the biggest fan of Charlie and I'm behind on Legends. But that's because I don't really like the way that, you know, they've gone forward with the show. However, you know, I thought she was really good in the past and I was a big fan. And after that season two, I actually met her in real life. She's actually from near where I'm from, so that's very cool. And so I talked to her and I was just, you know, praising her because I really, really liked Amaya. And so I'm a big fan of her and it's a shame to see her go. So she is going to be leaving and she's not going to be coming back. But it's open for her to come back though. And so the showrunner has said this. The good thing is that people are allowed to come back and have come back in the past. So, yeah, there is an option for her to come back, but as of right now, Maisie is focusing on her next endeavours and next projects. I think she is becoming a filmmaker, from what I've heard, so she is working on her own stuff, so big up to her. Can't wait to see what she does next, but, you know, it's a shame that she's leaving Legends and not returning for Season 6. Okay, so let's move on to the last few things. This is a few questions from you guys I wanted to answer in this video, just to end it. And I will have another video on some of your other questions. Remember, you can always leave the questions for videos as you were doing these Q&A videos very regularly over the break. Please be sure to go over to the community tab and leave those questions, ideas, theories, and topics for what you want to be mentioned in a video in the potential future. So the first question comes from Tyrone Flame on YouTube who asks, is Nia now really moving to Legends of Tomorrow? So I've heard this rumor around quite a lot recently like over the past few months and as of right now no she's not moving from Supergirl she's staying a series regular that being Nicole Maines I think lots of people really like her now I'm a big fan of her I think she's really grown into her own as Nia on Supergirl and yeah this was a rumor that she might go to Legends of Tomorrow because you know I think she would be a pretty good fit for Legends if I'm totally honest but she's a good fit for Supergirl as well and as of right now there's been no news in regarding to that 
but that has been a theory that has been going around online and it's not true. Okay, so let's move on to the last question. This comes from Leaper on YouTube who asks, Will some of the Legion of Superheroes members ever come back from the future to Supergirl Season 7? So this is a good question because we have seen members of the Legion return last season, that being Wynn, he was around for three episodes, so Jeremy came back. I think Jeremy might come back sometime in the near future again because he seems very committed. Also, Monel returned for the 100th episode. Yes, it wasn't necessarily Monel from the future, but it was a different version. But he still was back, so I would say that classes as that. So Chris came back as well. Also, Chris was in a cameo role in one of the episodes recently in a body bag, so I thought that was very funny. And I think that there is a chance that those two may return sometime in the future. I don't think they're ever going to be series regulars again because I think they've kind of moved past that. However, there is a chance that they do return. But in regards to the other Legion members, we could see some new Legion members. But as of right now, I think the show has kind of moved on from the Legion as of right now. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.